I'm Dr. Carrie Murphy. I'm a Baha'i and I'm a retired 8th grade middle school science teacher. I want to talk briefly today about how my religion influenced my classroom teaching. The Baha'i Faith teaches that science must sanction religion and religion fortify science. It emphasizes that science and religion both come from God. They are not in competition with each other and they are not in conflict. In that spirit, I taught for 25 years in a, in a diverse but largely evangelical Christian culture here in South Carolina. Many of my students believe that fundamentalist, literalist teachings trumped all other kinds of knowledge, including what I was teaching them, which included geology, paleontology, a little physics, uh, evolution, and astronomy. I decided early in my teaching career, therefore, to help my students to think more critically by teaching them the steps of rationality, steps that are both secular and expressly found in the Baha'i scriptures. These steps include the need to master a body of knowledge, to possess a spirit of inquiry and detachment, to hold to the tentativeness of knowledge, to possess a grateful and humble spirit of service, to test and retest ideas, to engage in peer review and consultation, and not to judge before you know avoid dichotomous thinking, and lastly, to dispel fear of authority, criticism, and failure. Well, I found that my students did very well understanding these ideas and methods, and they gained a real respect for science in the process. This experience taught me that rational thinking could be taught to young people and adults, and that it should be included in both our academic and religious curricula. In the Baha'i view, it applies to both. Science, as well as religion, need to be understood rationally. Young people, then, in short, as well as adults, deserve to have rational tools with which to analyze the ideas that they encounter in their lives. I want to end with a quote from the Baha'i Writings. God has endowed man with intelligence and reason. If religious beliefs and opinions are found contrary to the standards of science, they are mere superstitions and imaginations. For the antithesis of knowledge is ignorance, and the child of ignorance is superstition. Unquestionably, there must be agreement between true religion and science. If a question be found contrary to reason, faith and belief in it are impossible, and there is no outcome but wavering and vacillation. Thank you so much for listening.